Yes, I will be standing for the leadership of the Liberal Democrats. Okay. Um, I believe it's time that we move on as a party and offer a positive vision for the country, and I'm the right person to lead that change. So what's the pitch, then? So I've been up and down the country listening to voters about what went wrong in the election, partly, but also asking them questions about what they think of us. I think it's really important that we listen and understand where we've been going wrong. What do they think of you? Well... You it, food there, perhaps. It's really interesting. So they come back and say in the election, revoke was a big mistake, because it felt very top-down, and actually cooperation is a key part of what we believe as Liberal Democrats, and we need to earn their trust again. Uh, the other thing that worried them was that we were saying that we were going to be the party of the next government, when, in fact, that wasn't the case, and we lost their trust again over that. So then I asked them, well, what do you think we stand for? And that's the bit that's really worrying, because they then say, well, nine times out of ten, we don't know. And the key question we have to answer now is, what are we for? That's the question that is missing from the eyes of the voters. So I then asked, well, what would turn you? What would bring you to us? And they're really clear, actually. It's quite interesting. Up and down the country, in Leaves areas, Remain areas, rural, urban. It's about equality of opportunity. In particular, they mention education, which, of course, was the reason I went into politics. They mention the climate crisis and the fact that all political parties need to urgently tackle that. And they also want a less tribal politics, a kinder, gentler politics, where we are working together as politicians on the things that matter to them and aren't so focused on us. OK. Um...